Dear Miss Lee Lapid, as you know, we have never met, we have never spoken, but I want to speak to you now in front of a camera so you could see my face and my expressions as I speak to you. I want to make this letter direct, open, and available to the world without the filter of newspapers or lawyers so there'll be no misunderstandings or misrepresentations. As we both know, in recent weeks, you've said a lot of hurtful lies about me in public. But I'm not looking for a fight. I'm trying to talk you out of a fight. We both know the reason for the fight you've started. Just over a year ago, a missionary based in Israel named Chaim Melspin spoke to a church audience in the United States, and he spoke about you. Melspin boasted about how his iteration of evangelical Christianity was expanding in Israel. He claimed that the belief in the gospel of Jesus was even expanding in the government of Israel. And he claimed you, Blihi Lapid, were an example of that. Melspin's remarks were live streamed and recorded. I can only guess how you feel about what Melspin said. But your response has been one that I don't understand. On October 30th, 2022, nearly a year after his original claim and just before the elections, Melspin sent a video to the Jewish Chronicle saying that his earlier claim that you were a believer in Jesus was a lie, that it was based on incorrect information. There's a problem with this, of course. When a liar tells me that an earlier story of his was a lie, I don't know where the truth is. We both know the Chaim Melsman is a liar. And there's a religious reason for him to lie. Some evangelical Christians, including the evangelicals that call themselves Messianic Jews, believe that the New Testament permits them to lie in order to advance their religion. So who knows? Who knows whether Melspin's lie was that you believe in Jesus or his lie was that he had bad information. Melspin's video to the Jewish Chronicle didn't even try to explain his claim that you believe in Jesus. Why did Melspin say your belief in Jesus was confirmed? Why did he specifically give you as example of the spread of Christian beliefs in the Israeli government? Who, if anyone, gave him the information that he now says is incorrect? I understand why you feel that, even with his apology, Melspin hasn't done enough to refute his claim that you believe in Jesus. But I still don't understand your response. You didn't sue Melspin for defamation. You didn't write negative Facebook or Instagram posts about him. You didn't threaten him in public to force him to do more to discredit his original claim that you were a believer in Jesus. You didn't go after the person that Melspin says supplied him with incorrect information. You went after me. You went after me for accurately reporting what Melspin said. The video of Melspin's speech was posted by the church where he spoke. It was available on the internet until mid-November last month. That's a year. People started noticing Melspin's claim about you several months ago. The parts of the video where he spoke about you, 
was circulated on Twitter many times. Melspin's claim was covered in the media. All this before I said anything about Melspin's claim. Surely you know I was only one of many people to report that Melspin said you believe in Jesus. Surely you know that I showed Melspin's apology only hours after he made it while accurately reporting his claim that you believe in Jesus. Surely you know that Melspin's claim was all over the news and the internet without any connection to me. But you targeted me, specifically me, only me. I don't understand why. There's something else I don't understand about your response. Chaim Melspin claimed that you believe in Jesus. Now, you've said many things about the subject since then, but you've not explicitly denied you believe in Jesus. You've said you are a Jew. You've said that you have distinguished Jewish ancestors on your father's side. You've said that you're a Zionist and that your son is being drafted into the armored corps of the IDF. You said that your family says Kiddush on Friday nights with challah on the table and that you fast on Yom Kippur. But you have not explicitly denied believing in Jesus, and I think you should know why this is significant. See, Melsman did not deny that you are Jewish. I certainly never claim that you're not Jewish. Everything that you have said so far is something that a so-called Messianic Jew would feel comfortable saying. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that you are Messianic. But it leaves doubt, and I would think you would want to get rid of the doubt. Saying you are Jewish doesn't get rid of that doubt. I'm an expert on missionaries like Chaim Melspin and the tactics and deceptions they use. And despite all the lies you've told about me, despite you suing me, I would still be willing to go on air as a well-known counter-missionary rabbi to help get rid of that doubt. I could tell the public that I know Chaim Melspin was lying when he said, you are a believer in Jesus. There's only one problem. Even under the threat of a lawsuit, I cannot lie for you. I can't tell the world that I know for sure that you are not a messianic unless I know it for sure. And there's only one way that I can know it for sure, and that's for you to do something that a messianic would avoid doing, and that's deny that Jesus, or as they might say, Yeshua, is the Messiah. If you say or demonstrate that you don't believe Jesus is the Messiah, I will know that you're not messianic. And then I'll honestly be able to give an expert opinion publicly that you're not messianic and that you don't hold Christian beliefs. If you can't figure out how to phrase it, simply publicly say, I do not believe Yeshua is the Messiah. I don't believe Jesus is the Messiah. It's really as simple as that. Obviously, you're free to reject my suggestion. I can't force you to say anything, and I don't want to try. If you prefer to leave people in doubt, you have that right. If you don't want to deny Jesus, that's your right. Let me be clear. Israelis have many different religious beliefs. I'm not offering to help you change your religious beliefs. I'm just offering to help you explain to the public 
what those beliefs are, assuming it's important to you. I hope you understand it was wrong for you to lie about me and to attack me in public for things I did not do. I would like to believe that you know that you have an obligation to fix the damage you have caused me. Nonetheless, my offer is unconditional. Anyways, there's no need for us to fight about that right now. If you're willing to work with me, I'm sure we can find a way for me not only to help you, but for you to undo much of the damage you have done. Fights like this benefit no one. Let's work together.